What's going on out there, YouTube? Oh, let's get Trey off of there. Shout out to Kathy Freston. I was checking out my Instagram earlier, apparently. <clears throat> she's, a, she's a boss, for sure. Like I've been following her for a while. She's cool. Um, anyway, just got back from a run. I'm a little sweaty. I apologize. Uh, mile 31 for the week which means we have 19 more to go and we have three days to do it. So it's like 6.3 miles a day, basically. So we're gonna do that, no problem. We'll hit our 50 mile mark this week and be good to go. Um, reason why I'm making this video. So this month on the 21st will be five years vegan, five. Uh, pretty cool, you know, I at that point consider myself, the reason why I'm making this, I've been waiting to make this for a while, but I wanted to be a long-term vegan before I start going down this road. Um, so now that I've been vegan for five years plus, I will consider myself to be a long-term vegan. Some people may argue that. You're welcome to argue that. That's your opinion. Um, and I'm not talking about, oh, you know, I've been vegan, but like last week I got drunk and ate like a cheeseburger or whatever. Like, no, no, no fucking around, no animal products, like five years, like straight up. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm proud of myself for that. Uh, and obviously the benefits have been amazing. Um, you know, I'm running 50 miles this week. <laughs> like before I went vegan, I wasn't even walking a mile. Like I was so fat and sick and depressed and on medications and like you smoking, like you couldn't fucking believe what I was before I went vegan. Going vegan literally changed my life and is why I am what I am now. Working full time, running 50 miles a week, running two YouTube channels, being successful, being happy, all stemmed from being vegan. Nothing else could have actually done that for me. Like I, at, at that point in my life, pr prior to five years ago, I was literally at a spot where I thought that I was stuck and I would never get out of that. <clears throat> and like, that was my life at this point. I was just gonna be miserable for the rest of my life. And like, what was the point? Um, obviously things changed. And I'm certainly grateful that I found Forks Over Knives changed it for me. Like a friend of mine watched it and changed up his diet. Uh, like prior to that he was like 250 he was a pretty big dude he was like 250 and then he got real skinny he was riding his bike a lot and I looked up to him you know uh, he's my best friend I looked up to him and I'm like yo I want to do that like I'm tired of being fat and sick and, and unhealthy like how do I do it and he told me he's like when I get hungry I just eat vegetables now Thinking back on that, I wouldn't recommend that because I tried that for a while and eating vegetables, you're not going to get enough calories basically to do anything. So <clears throat> it works for losing weight. That's true. But you're going to have like no energy and stuff like that. So you can't just eat vegetables. So don't take that to heart. Um, but I get what he was saying. So anyway, I'm out on my run. And like I said, I've been wanting to do this video for a while. All these years vegan um i've been trying to help people and i've been doing it with a relatively passive approach you know oh hey I'm, I'm really sorry you're sick let me help you out hey maybe i can give you some diet tips oh you want some help meal planning or recipes or blah 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 cool cool and i've been trying to do it that way and i'm literally wasting my fucking time i mean i hate to be <laughs> all of a sudden like be a downer in the video because i'm not trying to be but like most people don't want help. Like they just want attention. They want somebody to vent to, um, but they don't actually fucking want help. They're too much of a pussy to actually make a change to do anything. Um, you know, it's like trying to help somebody out and they're like, yo, hold up, let me eat these ribs real quick. Like, dude, I thought you just fucking told me you wanted to eat healthier and, and all this shit. Like, or, you know, um, I'll be cooking like some stuff, uh, like, jasmine rice and like sweet and sour stir fry vegetables like good shit like i don't cook shit that tastes like garbage like my shit tastes good and they'll be like no no it's cool like i've had a stressful week let me eat these fucking three pieces of pizza real quick you know what i mean I i'm just done with people like that like okay you go back to doing what you're doing being fucking sick and depressed and stressed out and fucking all that shit and i'll keep doing what i'm doing over here and I need to spend my time helping people who actually want help rather than these people who pretend to want help. Um, and also I've been relatively passive on YouTube as well. Like I don't start a lot of shit and I just, I'm kind of the same way on Facebook too. Like I kind of keep to myself and just watch from the shadows. And then 
occasionally pounce on somebody that I need to, but being a long-term vegan now, seeing the benefits, knowing the truth, knowing what is actually going on out there, and the lies and the bullshit that people are being told, like, I'm over that too. Like, it's time to start calling people out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's time to go to war, so to speak. Um, so, I, I get that people don't like that. People think Durian Ryder's bad because he's aggressive and he's, you know, he'll call people out. He, people say, think he's, like, cynical and negative and blah, blah, blah. But, truth be told, we need people like Durian Ryder. We need people like myself who are going to go out there who aren't afraid to call people out and who aren't afraid to take heat themselves. Like, I don't, I, when I first came into this, I was pretty humble. I don't give a fuck now. Nobody's going to tell me anything. So, if, if you, you know, disagree with one of my views, one of the, and, and here's the thing, like, I don't spin shit, you know what I mean? Like, I don't come out there and start spewing negative facts or throwing out fake fucking documents or fake, you know, um, trial results or whatever like that. I, I don't do that. The, the only thing I'm ever going to put on YouTube or put out in public is, like, verified truth, you know, clinical studies, like, peer-reviewed clinical studies even, like, real shit. I'm not going to fuck around and, and, you know, start just spewing garbage. So if anybody has anything negative to say about any of the shit that I'm going to be saying here coming up, well, they're full of shit, basically. And, you know, they're welcome to say what they want to say. And I'll get at them, you know. Uh, but I'm just, I'm not going to sit back and be passive anymore. I think I'm going to take the more aggressive approach and just start hitting these motherfuckers face to face, basically. So... Anyway, that's about it. <laughs> it's going to be a good day. It's, it's not super nice outside. It's not raining, though, which is good. Um, but I, I got some stuff to do for the YouTube channels and some other stuff. I got to go grocery shopping, do some cooking for the week. And, uh, yeah, just get some stuff done around the house. So, all right, guys. Lots of new videos coming up. And like I said, it's going to change a little bit. Things are going to, little, things are going to get a little heated. Um, so if you, if you don't like that type of stuff, you may not want to watch the videos that are coming out, um, but it's time to just, it's time to do it. You know, the, the time has come, so to speak. So, all right, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Until next time, take care.